Hey there, welcome to the 31st Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In the last tutorial we covered event listeners, I gave you a brief intro on what the click event listener looks like. In this tutorial we're going to practice some of these other tutorials, some of these other uh, event listeners, and see what they look like and see how you can use them to your benefit. So let's just start. Uh, what you see in front of you is pretty similar. Uh, I posted a link to the MDN uh, event listeners page here. Uh, as well as the syntax for the event listener. So let's start it. So we'll do start with document.get element by ID name, uh, same as last time. So we'll do add event listener. We'll do mouse over this time. Function. So we'll do, uh, let's do var button name again uh, equals to this.get attribute. ID. We'll do document dot get element by ID. Uh, sorry, user action dot value um, equals to just to button name has been moused over. So this works similarly to the click event listeners, exactly the same syntax except instead of using click we use mouse over. Again, you don't need on mouse over or just like we didn't need on click. So what will happen is that when I mouse over the button here, uh, this text field will say uh, whatever the button name is. In this case, its name has been moused over. So let's update and run. So now if I do this, there you go, has been moused over. Now if I move it away, nothing really happens. I can edit this text if I want. If I mouse over it again, it appears again. So now let's look at the opposite, which is mouse out. I'm just going to copy this whole piece of code, put it down here. The only thing I'm going to change is mouse over to mouse out. Now if I run, update and run. Now if I mouse over it, it says name has been moused over. If I move out, well, sometimes it's good to look over your your code again. The reason you're not seeing this change is because I didn't change the text here. So moused out of. So now if I update and run, there you go. Moused over, moused out of, blah, blah, blah. There you go. See, got to change the text. Pretty easy. The next event we're going to look at is the double click. I'm just going to go back a little bit. I'm going to copy that again. Uh, instead of mouse out, we're going to do it's called double click. It's DBL click, not D O U B L E. And when I do that, this time I'll make sure I change the text. So uh, has been double clicked. There we go. That makes sense. So update and run. So moused over, moused out of. And if I double click it, there you go. Double clicked. Moused out of, double clicked. Pretty cool, right? OK, let's keep going. So now we'll do. I'm just going to copy this over because the syntax is absolutely, absolutely the same, but we're going to change what we're targeting. So we'll do uh, user action. So we're going to target this text box here. Uh, the event listener we're going to look at is uh, focus. Uh, focus means when you focus in on the on the uh, text box. So if your cursor goes on it, uh, your typing cursor goes on it, then uh, it, you ha you'll have focused on it. So let's do button name, blah, blah, blah. User action, yes, we're going to enter stuff in there we can say uh, you can say has been focused on focused on okay not the best English but whatever so we have name mouse over mouse out double click now if I click on the text box it says user action has been focused on pretty cool right and there we go let's keep going I'm going to do something else on user action Instead of focus, we're going to do blur. Blur, uh, it's it's unlike the other event listeners. It's not it's not uh, self-explanatory. Blur just means when you're in a text box and then you leave the text box. That means you're just leaving it. So you're blurring out of it. So blah blah blah. You has been focused. Let's just do it out of just to keep it simple. Update run. So name mouse over out of double click focused on and if I click out of it it says focused out of focused on out of blah 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 pretty easy right pretty cool uh, the next two we're gonna look at is key up and key down so I'm going to just copy this little piece here make it down I'm gonna make some space here so that you can see better uh, let's close this and then we'll do user actions so we'll do key key down key down the only reason I didn't 
uh, copied the rest of this is because I have another span ID here called key press that I'm going to target. So we'll do document dot get element meant by ID key press dot value equals to we're going to do uh, let's see we're going to do sorry not value it's going to be inner text it's not a text box um, you've let's do this key has been pressed just to keep it simple I'm going to copy this again we're going to do key up key has been let go let go why there you go so update run so let's look at this again so mouse over mouse out double click focused on focused out of now if I get rid of this you can see it says key has been let go if I start typing something in key has been pressed as long as the key is down it'll say key has been pressed and as soon as I let go it says key has been let go why there you go so this is a great way to tell if somebody is typing uh, uh, if somebody is typing if somebody is let go this is good user action to capture now let's look at a window object event listener, which is uh, the scroll, uh, the resize I won't do, but I'm just going to do the scroll uh, and see what that looks like. So we'll do window dot add event listener scroll and then function. We'll do. Um, I'm just going to do a console log where um, you've scrolled through the page, something like that. All right, close it. Okay, let's run this. Uh, the only reason I'm logging to the console is because you know, we can output it here, but it's, sometimes it's just easier to look at it in the console. So let's just open the JavaScript console. Now we have the code here, and we have a scroll bar here because this window is now small enough. So now if I start moving this, it says you have scrolled. And you can see just how many lines I've scrolled by the number of times that message has appeared. So if I go down, there you go. It's pretty cool, right? So now you can take more user action and see when they have done something on the page. So if somebody scrolls something, if somebody scrolls a certain limit, uh, you can send them to, you can have them jump down to a certain part of the page, for example. I'm sure you've seen this before, uh, where you click on something and it takes you to, scrolls you down to something else. And a scroll event listener has been captured. Uh, well, anyway, that's it. Uh, for event listeners for now. Uh, uh, I hope you've learned quite a bit about event listeners and find it useful. Uh, feel free to visit the Mozilla Developer Network website and get more information on these events as well as other events that you can use. And always visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Have a good one.